Welcome to our review on making proteins. So what we actually find then is quick recap on what we said last time that DNA is made up of those four bases, A, T, C and G. And if you remember, they've got this complementary base pairing that means that A always pairs with T. So the two pointy ones go together and C always pairs with G. The two rounded letters always go together. So what those bases actually do then is that they form this code. Now, when that code's actually being read, what happens is it's not just each individual base that's read, but they're read as a group of three called a triplet. So each of those three bases together, that triplet, will code for one amino acid. So what we then find is, depending on what sequence the bases actually occur in, in our DNA, that's going to decide which amino acids join up in what sequence. And that's what makes all those different proteins. It's the different sequence of bases that lead to different amino acids joining together, and that leads to the different protein being made. We need to know then how this actually comes about. So this is the potential six mark question again, because there's plenty we can write about here. So easiest way to do this is to create yourself a series of little flowchart stages, if you like, and then practice covering them up and then going over, see if you know them or not. OK, the best way to do that is literally write it out on a piece of A4 paper, put little post-it notes or little flaps over it, and then you can just test yourself over and over again to make sure you get the sequence right. So. First thing that's got to happen is that we need our DNA unwound because remember DNA occurs as a double helix. So the required gene then, what happens first? The DNA unwinds. Once the DNA is unwound, these free RNA bases are going to come up and pair on to their complementary pairs to make this thing called mRNA. Now the mRNA is able to leave the nucleus. And as it does so, it's going to travel to this structure called a ribosome, which is found in the cytoplasm of our cell. As the mRNA gets to the ribosome, it feeds through. And what the ribosome then does is it reads those sequences of three bases, those triplet codes. As it reads a triplet, what it does is it brings an amino acid in and then it moves along to the next triplet, brings in another amino acid. Then those two amino acids join together. And this process just continues right the way along that strand of mRNA until it reaches the very end. And then it just releases the amino acid chain and depending on which amino acids we've got determines how the protein then folds.